interested in my 2022 perfume collection, then just keep on watching. Hey guys, so I will be getting in front of the camera, but I just kind of want to show you how I have everything set up because I know that's going to end up being a question as far as how I have everything set up. So I'm just going to show you real quick. But over here, real quick to the left, this is not a body care collection video, but right next to it, I kind of have like Project Use It Up and other miscellaneous items staged so I don't have to go searching for it. So just some lotions and creams I already have pulled out. But, <clears throat> so here I have the first little uh, uh, thing. I can't even think of what this is called, but I have this and it's pretty full of fragrances. Um, Over here I have plenty of samples, travel sprays. I think I'm gonna do my travel spray separately depending on how long it takes to actually um, record this because I have plenty of full-size bottles. And then at the top of this, I have all of my oils from either like the beauty supply store or um, fragrant body oils. <clears throat> I did pick up a second one of these. So I do have two of these now. So I just have that and I have another tray here and these I actually stole from my mom so I don't know where they came from but I think they were like little jewelry trays and I was like you know who could use those me <laughs> so I stole these from my mom but if I find something that looks like them I will try and leave a link for it you know like Amazon and then over here is typically what you'd see behind me so here's the first row and this thing has one, two, three, four shelves. So on the these two shelves, I have fragrances. And then at the bottom shelf, it's a little messy, but I have purses down there. <laughs> so yeah, this is the first shelf. And then over here, I just have more fragrances and travel sprays. I keep telling myself if I put them out, I'll start using them. I haven't really reached for them yet, but you know, we got time. Yeah, I got a bunch of travel sprays over here as well, which is why I was thinking about doing a separate dedicated video to travel sprays because there are a plethora of those all, you know, on their own. So let me um, try and get myself together so I can get in front of the camera and go through all of my bottles. Okay, so first of all, y'all, I couldn't make up my mind. I'm going to get in front of the camera for this, behind the camera. I didn't know which would make more sense because there's a lot to get through. Um, so just to, like a quick FYI, get you a little snack, a drink, or some. Do I have water myself? Well, I'm telling y'all to get something because I might get a little parched in a minute. Um, there's a ton of perfume here. I am going to do my bottles in one video, I'm gonna do my travel sprays in another video because I don't know how long this is gonna take. Okay, I have no idea. Um, I don't plan to review or give opinions on any of these just because of how many we have to get through. So, if you see something and you're interested in a review, let me know in the comments and I will definitely try to make that happen for you. I'm also excluding the rainbow perfumes from here because um, half of them, I don't even know what they're dupes for. So I can't even tell you what, you know, they're supposed to be. And I don't even have the packaging. So I don't even remember what a lot of them are called. So I say I'm about to say, okay. <laughs> Let's get into my 2022 perfume collection video. So unfortunately, a lot of these aren't going to be grouped together by brand just based on how I have them scattered about. Some of them will be, but not all of them. Um, so first I have the Jean-Marc Puri brand, which you can find at like Marshalls and TJ Maxx. So I have a couple from there. This first one here is Sugar Pop, uh, like a, a pink sugar doppelganger. Next I have Sexy Secret. And I also have um, Sexy Secret Teas. Next is from the brand Candy Bomb, and this is called Sugar Fix. So you can also find this in your local Marshalls and TJ Maxx. Next here is Stardust Kiss, 
Next, I think this is a Gwen Stefani brand that you can find at Marshalls and TJ Maxx. Um, Harajuku Lovers. Um, so this one is Lil Angel. And I have another one which is called G. Um, I can't explain the packaging. It's just really weird to me. And if I wasn't afraid of leaving like the tops off of the stuff like getting air in them, I would have tossed these caps a long time ago. Also, this is before I do a declutter. So I didn't know if it would make sense to do this before or after the declutter, but I have no idea when I'm actually going to get around to doing that. So I would like to, you know, get this video out this year. before. <laughs> So next are going to be these two fragrances I found in Five Below. So the first one is Kimberly's Tropical Pineapple. And the other one is, uh, I think it's Chocolate Covered Strawberry, I want to say. I don't remember the name to this one. Oh, it's at the bottom. Kimberly's Sinful Berry. That's what this one is called. Also trying to put them back as I talk about them so that the cleanup is painless. <laughs> Next is Kimberly Sweet Cherry, another five below find. So next are a couple of dupes. This one is Alt Crystal number 23, which is supposed to be a dupe to Baccarat 540, the x -Trait. And I also have this Oil de Parfum Baccarat Rouge 540 by Fragrant Body Oils. Next, I have Pure Honey from Kim Kardashian. Next here is Fantasy by Britney Spears. <laughs> I know how I feel about her. <laughs> that doesn't need a review. <laughs> Next here, this is um Girlfriend by Justin Bieber. Next here is Menajesty by Nicki Minaj. I have Pink Friday, but I feel like I might have a bag already started with things I want to declutter. So maybe that's why it's not over here. Next is Amor Amor by Casherelle. Next, we have Gucci Flora Gorgeous Gardenia. This is the 2017 version. I don't know if it has changed between 2017 and what's in the store now. I haven't bothered to smell it because I don't like this one. And I said I wasn't going to start talking about these. I just want to show you guys what's here. Next is Jessica Simpson Fancy. Next is Poison Girl Eau de Toilette. Next here we have Zara Red Vanilla. Next is Juicy Couture Gold Couture. Next is Escada Miami Blossom. Next here is Mariah Carey Dreams. Super underrated. Uh, these next two are from the Kat Von D brand. This is Saint and this is Sinner. Discontinued. I wish um, these would come back so people can at least smell them. I mean, nothing to write home about, but still decent scents. Next, I have Nude by Rihanna. And there's also Rebel Floor by Rihanna. Next here I have Sexual Sugar by Michael Germain. And next is um, Elisab Girl of Now Forever. Next is My Burberry Blush. And next here is Black Opium. Okay, so next I wanna get into the shelf right behind me. So I think with these, I can do a much better job of just showing the brand on its own. Um, so first up, I have Replica by The Fireplace. Next, these are from Soli Notes. The first one is Tonka. And the second one is Vini. Next, these are from that True Fragrance and Beauty brand, I believe. Um, so the first one here is Velvet Cherry. Next is Spun Sugar. We have Bubbly Berry and Whipped Chocolate. Next, I'm going to get into Gourmand Beauty. You guys know I am obsessed with these scents. Um, I'll do the body sprays first. So first is Chocolat Hazelnut. Next is Papai Tropic. Next is Fruit Dew Dragon. Oops. Next we have Creme Brulee. And the last one here is Chai Epice. Next are the perfumes. The first one is Rose Chocolat, Punch All Fruits, Chai Epice, Chai Eclair, 
Le Bubble Pop, Citrone Meringue, Pistachio Brulee, Creme Vanille, Noir Distille, Fleur de Blonde, Late de Coco, and Amber Etoile. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. So first here is the Nest Madagascar Vanilla Oil. Next is Jean-Paul Gaultier So Scandal. Let me keep it in the family. So I have the original Scandal. So next I have Scandal by Night and Scandal Opry. I have Dolce & Gabbana uh, number three. <laughs> I have Van Cleef & Arpels Orchidee Vanille. I have the collaboration of Bella Ora and Fumi Monet Exalte. I have Prada Candy Night and Prada Candy Gloss. I have Mancera's Roses Vanille, as well as Instant Crush. I have Montal's Mokalat and as well as Intense Cafe. I am ashamed of all the dust on these. Whew. <laughs> I have Givenchy Lanterdi Rouge. I have um, Valentino Donna Born in Roma, C. Fiori, Coach Dream Sunset, Burberry Her Eau de Toilette, the original Burberry Her, Burberry Her Intense. I have Killian's Princess and I have Killian's Kissing. So I think I'm gonna go this way and then I'm gonna end up back at the one right behind me on this side. I need to dust my um, perfumes off. So next we have Fairy Tale, Open Sky, A Thousand Wishes, Hibiscus Paradise, Rose, and Honey Wildflower. Next is Victoria's Secret Tea's Cream Cloud. And next we have Victoria's Secret Tea's Candy Noir. Next is Belayered Caramel Overdose. Next is um, Giorgio Armani's My Way Intense. Next is Vanilla Woods by The Seven Virtues. I also have some little samples on here. So this is Flower Bomb Dew, Burberry Her, uh, Valentino's Voce Viva, and Armani C. Passion. So next I have Bath & Body Works Coffee and Whiskey. Next is Peppy Jeans. Ooh, I hope that's not echoing. <laughs> Next is Peppy Jeans Her. Next is Moschino Toy 2 Bubblegum. Next is Skylar Salt Air. Next is Jimmy Choo Fever. This is the big bottle for C. Fiori. As well as the big bottle for Prada Candy Gloss. They came in the set together for a really good price. Um, I haven't found that set again, but I did see it on Guilt last summer. This is Sophia by Sophia Vergara. And then the next one is Dolce & Gabbana Pour Femme. Next we have Pink Sugar Red Velvet. And then there is Pink Sugar Berry Blast. And Pink Sugar Creamy Sunshine. Next is the original Pink Sugar. Next is the Goat. Next is Dolce Shine. Next is You're the One. We have Vani by uh, Ultrame. I think that's the brand, Ultrame Vani. So next I have two of the Yes I Am flingers from Cacharel. Um, The first one, this is Yes I Am Fabulous, I believe. And this one is Yes I Am Glorious. I have J'adore by Dior. I have Ocean de Gioia by Giorgio Armani have Escada. This is Candy Love, I want to say, I think. <laughs> Next is Choco Musk. Next, I have Ari by Ariana Grande. I have Whipped Almond by Mix Bar. Next, I have Floor Botanica by Balenciaga and Rosa Botanica by Balenciaga. Next, I have Ariana Grande Clout. I bought this as a tester bottle, so it has this random cap on it. 
Um, next is um, Cloud 2.0. Next is Moonlight. Next is Thank You Next 2.0 and the original Thank You Next. Then next we have God is a Woman. I don't know why I didn't have Ari with these. Next is Britney Spears Midnight Fantasy. Next is Sugar Orchid and I got this from Marshalls. Smells like Juicy Couture Viva Noir. Viva the noir version okay i can't remember the name <laughs> another marshall's fine this is glow trotter by fika the very tropical scent and i'm not supposed to be describing things so let me just keep a question next is paris hilton dazzle next is paris hilton gold rush i got a couple more victoria's secret fragrance we have bombshell and we have scandalous next i have ellie Saab, girl of now Next here is Matt Creme de Nude. Next I have Edol and Edol Intense. I think it's intense. We got a couple dossiers. So we have Oriental Cherry, which is the Lost Cherry dupe. We have Woody Sage, which is the dupe for Wood Sage and Sea Salt by Joe Malone. Um, we have Fruity Honey, which this is supposed to be um joe malone's nectarine and honey i think and we have musky oak moss which is supposed to be um creed aventus next i have al haramain amber oud gold and um amber oud rouge next i have sugar lychee by fresh next i have woman cherry by zara as well as fields at nightfall we have Go Fruity, and we also have Apple Juice. I'm saying we, but it's just me. <laughs> okay, I have a, another little tray here before my stuff starts falling. Let me put it down. <sighs> we are getting close to the finish line, y'all. It doesn't feel like it, but we are. <laughs> Next, I have La Vie et Belle Soleil Crystal. She's getting a nice little dent because I've been using her a lot lately. Mm -hmm. I have Chanel um, Mademoiselle, Coco Mademoiselle Intense, as well as Coco Noir. I have Gabrielle Essence, because I need me a rich auntie scent on hand at all times. I have Mon Guerlain. I have Jimmy Choo I Want You. I have Flower Bomb Ruby Orchid. YSL Libre Intense. House of Siage Benevolence, Killian Angel Share. I have two fragrances from Zerzhoff. I have Italica and Lyra. Okay, so last up is the area right behind me, and that will be it for the bottles. And then I will um, go over the travel sprays separately. <sighs> I'm almost done. <laughs> So I have Red Temptation by Zara. I have um, Mont Blanc Signature. Let me see if I can make it at least look okay. There we go. Okay. I have Eilish by Billy Eilish. I have Kenzo Flower Lelixir with a couple backups because. Mm. She's hard to find and hard to replace. I have Oud Bouquet by Lancome. I have Jean-Paul Gaultier La Belle, as well as La Belle Le Parfum. All right, last two fragrance houses. Kayali. Okay. <laughs> Where do we start with Kayali? We'll start with the minis. These are technically travel sprays, but I'm gonna include them here. So all the Cali stuff's together, well, for the most part. Anywho, first one is Utopia Vanilla Cocoa, number, child, I can't see, 21. <laughs> there we go. Deja Vu White Flower 37. Yeah, I'm trying to see these numbers. <laughs> Next is Musk 12. Then we have Citrus 08. And then there is Invite Only Amber 23. 
Next is Sweet Diamond Pink Pepper 25. Then there is Elixir 11. Eden Juicy Apple 01. Love Fest Burning Cherry 48. And the uh, infamous Vanilla 28. This smell makes me so happy. We're almost there, I promise. Last two fragrances from Parfums de Marley. I don't know who goes first. So first we'll do Oriana. So we have Oriana. And then last but not least for this fragrance collection video, we have Delina Exclusive. So I'm still on my no buy. I'm not sure what I'll buy fragrance wise once it's over. I'm not even sure how long I'm gonna be on this no buy. But, okay, it's the end of August, 2022. And these are all the fragrances I have in my collection. Well, not all of them, it's not the, it's not the travel sprays. So <laughs> these are all the bottles I have in my collection. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will catch you in my next video.